This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the determination of mobility of a mechanism involving several bars or binary links and, some ternary links. In this problem we are asked to determine the mobility of the mechanism shown here. This mechanism shown here is taken from the book series. Mechanisms in Modern Engineering Design, a handbook for engineers, designers, and inventors. Of Ivan Ivanovich Artobolevsky. First, recall that the mobility, M, of a mechanism is equal to 3 times L decreased by 1 minus twice J1 minus J2. Where? L is the number of links in the mechanism, L is the number of mechanical parts in the mechanism. J1 is the number of lower pairs, it is the number of kinematic pairs that allow, each, one degree of freedom. And J2 is the number of higher pairs, it is the number of kinematic pairs that allow two degrees of freedom, each pair. This mechanism is built from several bars or binary links. First there is the link AB or link 1. It can be considered as a bar or a binary link. There is the link 3 or link CD, which also can be considered as bar or binary link. In the same way link 4 or link EF, can be considered as bar or binary link. Finally, there is link 5 or link GF, which also can be considered as a bar. The mechanism also includes a T-shaped link, which is link 2 or link BCE. This link is connected to three other links. It is connected to bar AB, bar CD, and bar EF. Link 2, can be considered as a ternary link. The mechanism includes a ground, the link ADG. The ground is connected to link 1, bar AB, link 3, bar CD, and link 5, bar GF. This is also a ternary link. The ground will be link number 6. The mechanism here is built from 6 links, 4 binary links and 2 ternary links. The 4 binary links are bar AB, bar CD, bar EF, and bar GF. The 2 ternary links are the T-shaped link 2 and the ground. Therefore, here L is equal to 6. All links are connected together using pin or rotating joints. The ground is connected to link AB using a rotating kinematic pair in A. The ground is also connected to link CD using a rotating joint in D. And also, the ground is connected to link GF using a pin joint in G. The link AB is connected to the ground, and also, is connected to the link 2, the ternary link BCE. Link 1 is connected to link 2 using a rotating joint. Also the link 3, the bar CD, is connected to the ternary link 2, using a pin kinematic joint in C. Finally, the binary link 4, is connected to link 2 using a pin joint in E, and is connected to link 5 using a pin joint in F. In all there is 7 rotating kinematic pairs, in A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Hence, J1 is equal to 7. In this example there is no cam or gear kinematic pairs. Thus, J2 is equal to 0. This mechanism is built from 6 links using 7 lower kinematic pairs and no higher pairs. Thus the mobility is equal to 3 times, 6 minus 1, minus 2 times 7, minus 0. Hence, the mobility is equal to 1. This mechanism has then 1 degree of freedom. This mechanism allows one input. It is only possible to control externally only one link. If the position of one link, the input, is given, it is then possible to predict the positions of all other links. Actually, this mechanism, is the what 6 bar mechanism.